piece of music you heard at the start of this video is something I wrote myself. I haven't quite decided where it's going to go yet. Whether to put words to the song or make it an instrumental. I imagine a um, Miles Davis kind of trumpet playing, playing a nice slow cool melody over the top. <laughs> So that's 13 years. I've used it in gigs as, in a duo. Uh, I've done solo gigs with it. I've played it as part of the uh, acoustic set in a, in a covers band. I played in a in a band uh, which which only did originals for for about 18 months, I think. So I can talk about this. Uh, from the perspective of someone who's, who's put it to a lot of use, it's a fantastic guitar. This is a Takamini, uh, EAN, I can't remember the number. Uh, what's unusual about this guitar is, is, is that uh, is nothing, there's nothing unusual about the, being electroacoustic, but this one in the circuit, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but there's actually a, a vacuum tube in the, in the circuit, a valve as we call them in the UK. I think you can make that out. The, the circuit works if you take the, the valve out or the tube. If you take the tube out, there's a, there's a different different tone. Maybe it's a gimmick. But this is a this is a great guitar. This is probably probably at a push the best guitar that I, that I, that I've owned, have owned or do own. There's nothing really that I've had that's anywhere near that this consistent uh, in, in the use of the guitar and in the way it's built and uh, how it's lasted. And I think it's um, walnut back and sides, probably spruce, although I'm not sure. I think the fingerboard is, is rosewood. The reason I, I got one of these guitars was um, a, a friend of mine had one. I had never played it, and he, he went on holiday and he didn't want to leave it. He didn't want to leave it at home, thinking it's vulnerable just being left in the house there for, for so long. Uh, so he, he gave it to me to mind, and, and uh, I, did, I did that with gusto. I didn't stop playing that guitar. It was essentially this this model, but the back and sides were different. It was a lighter wood. It didn't have this dark wood. The top was much lighter. It didn't have the scratch plate. So this I'm on this since new. I was. If you look at that bridge, everyone thinks that it's oh you've broken your guitar there. <laughs> it's just offset. 
a nice touch and it works so what's what's good about this guitar then what what is it that uh makes it so nice Look at those tuners really smooth it plays really well and it it sounds fabulous In the, in the, in the, when, you, when you're finger picking, you can you can hear everything. It doesn't muddy up. Sometimes you get you get a kind of cacophony of, of notes that, that that doesn't translate too well into into uh, into good music. I mean, you could see you could see someone like Tommy Emmanuel using this with no problem. The neck is quite thick, it's got quite a chunky feel. It's uh it's not it's not I've had similar kind of necks on on, on old strats. Um frets are quite low. One thing I like about this is that it's got it's got fret markers across the, the top of the, the uh the neck, but there's none on the front of the uh on the front of, on the fretboard, which, which is quite unusual. Uh, if I use this guitar for teaching, um, and I say put your finger there on the fifth fret, people are like, because oh, 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 I forget that there's there's no marker there, so it's probably not the best guitar to use for teaching. On the on the on the side on the shoulder there, it's got the the tuner and the. Um, uh, electronics so if it's green I don't know if you can pick that up it means it's in tune that's slightly um, so we've got a, um, a small EQ that's an overall volume and tone controls it's got a brilliant dynamic range which is probably Probably the most important thing I think for a, for an acoustic acoustic performance. It's it's not unusual if you walk in a city centre bar and, and you see a um, there's a there's a there's an artist on the stage and it's just an acoustic guitar and his own voice and that's it and and you see them doing this. <laughs> And the whole gig will be done like that. Which is good, but I always feel it, it kind of detracts from, from the performance because it you need to feel a kind of um, a, a, a living, breathing emotion in the music that just isn't there if it's constantly, <laughs> constantly bashing away at, at a six string, five, six string or five string chords. I understand how it comes about because the performer feels he's got to project the best the, in the best way that he can and your kind of adrenaline forces you to do this fortunately you don't need to do that so say for instance if, if, if I was to play a song like Mrs Robinson So the 
there's a, there's a lot of dynamic. Uh, you can you can use the guitar to to create some some tension and some excitement and and, and a little bit of um, a little bit of flair that doesn't exist. <laughs> gig is bashed out like this. to gripe with with the electro acoustic guitar once you plugged it in into the you plug the lead into the jack socket which activates the battery which is not a problem with, with an, an, an electric guitar obviously so you, you you kind of forget and you, you're lulled into a false sense of security and you've done the sound check uh, you leave you leave the guitar on its on its stand at the back and then you come to the acoustic section of the gig and you, and you pick it up and nothing happens. You get this because while you were playing all those electric guitar songs, the, the batteries died. So what I tended to do was just leave the uh, the lead in only a, a certain amount so that it actually didn't didn't engage with the, with the jack socket fully uh, and make a circuit after finding out the hard way. So everything works when, when you can see the, the, the LED the lights underneath. Uh, if I was plugged in and I pressed it twice, you'd get this flashing lights and, and the, the, the guitar is effectively dead. Uh, which can be a problem. I mean, if, if you're fueled with adrenaline and you're in the middle of a gig and, you, and you've, put, pressed, you've used the tuner and then you press it again to turn the tuner off, and you make contact twice without no, and then you start playing and nothing happens. It's not a major problem, but it's there. The position of the of the the, the strap button is interesting. I would have thought it would probably be. The place to put it was 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 on there, but this this works really well. No issues. You just get a slight angle in the uh, in the strap, so occasionally the strap does come off. Fabulous guitar, really is. Recommend one of these to anyone. <laughs> 